least once in life, every person on Earth has wondered if extraterrestrial life is possible. This is probably what makes books and films about aliens so popular. With fear and curiosity, people are waiting for the guests from outer space to come. Who are they? Terrible monsters who will destroy us and become our overlords? Or kind and wise beings that can potentially give us new breakthrough technologies and reconcile humanity's unceasing rivalry between states and nationalities? Of course, there is another life form in the universe. It originated and developed on one or hundreds of Earth-like exoplanets. Or maybe other life forms could emerge in completely different conditions that are deadly for people. For example, on giant exoplanets, gas giants, which we'll discuss further in this video. They don't have mountains, forests, and oceans familiar to us and are covered instead with hot gases. But if terrestrial life originated in the ocean, why can't life originate in the gas ocean of these planets, where the high content of various elements and high temperatures can possibly create chemical reactions that result in the formation of organic compounds? In the search for answers to these questions, scientists have been studying exoplanets for several decades. These planets lie outside the solar system and can be reached using today's underdeveloped technology. According to theoretical calculations, the Milky Way galaxy alone may have about 300 million livable planets. But the most powerful modern telescopes allow us to explore only a few thousand exoplanets closest to us. In this video, we'll tell you about three of them the largest and hottest planets discovered in the universe. Heads up, these facts may shock you if you haven't come across this information before. Giant Exoplanets Cheops or Characterizing Exoplanet Satellite, is a project of the European Space Agency based on a specially designed ESA space telescope that seeks to detect and study exoplanets. In 2018, it discovered WASP-189b, an exoplanet orbiting the star HD 133112, or WASP-189 one of the hottest stars that have some planetary system. WASP-189 lies 325 light-years away from the Libra constellation. We are used to the fact that the planet is something comfortable and pleasing to the eyes. Blue oceans and boundless green forests. In extreme cases, you would see a desert like on the Moon or Mars. But the planet WASP-189b is completely different and looks more like an inferno than an earthly paradise that we take for granted. It's a gas giant that orbits very close to its parent star. It takes less than three days to orbit it and is 20 times closer to the star than the Earth is to the Sun. At the same time, the planet's diameter is over 1.6 times longer and it's two times heavier than Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. What's more, the temperature on WASP-189b's surface is 3,200 degrees Celsius. We know that iron melts at a temperature of 1,500 degrees, and when the temperature exceeds 3,000 degrees, iron turns into gas. That's why WASP-189b is a gas giant. All the elements that normally make up planets are there in a gaseous state, which brings a blue glow to the planet, resembling burning gas. By the way, the temperature of 3200 degrees Celsius exceeds the temperature of some cold stars. The temperature of such stars is no higher than 3000 degrees, and the temperature on the sun's surface is estimated at 5780 degrees. Can life emerge on such a planet? It seems unlikely. But if, for some yet unknown reason, life can exist under such temperature, 
it's scary to imagine the hellish look these creatures might have. The largest planet in the solar system is Jupiter. Its radius is almost 70,000 kilometers. To put this into perspective, the radius of the Earth is 6,371 kilometers. That is 10 times less. Thus, scientists traditionally measure all the huge planets in the radii of Jupiter. In 2013, astronomers discovered Rox S 42BB, which has since become known as the largest exoplanet known to modern science. The radius of this giant is 2.5 times that of Jupiter, and it's about 10 times heavier. Rox S 42BB is 468,000 light years away from Earth and lies in the Ophiuchus constellation. Of course, this isn't the largest planet in the universe, but one of the largest ones humanity has discovered so far. In fact, it occupies the fourth place on the list of the largest planets in the universe. However, there are doubts on whether the first three can be considered planets. In many respects, they are more likely to be brown dwarfs, that is, stars. Rox S 42BB is a gas giant, which means it's definitely a planet. But just imagine such a planet. It's 25 times larger than the Earth. And if we wanted to take a trip around such a planet, it would take many months for a modern aircraft to get from one part of the planet to another. Now think of our own planet, where it takes less than a day to fly from London to Sydney, that is, from one part of the Earth to another. Our planet is so small and cozy compared to other space objects. But traveling on Rox S 42BB is no more than science fiction. Even if we could reach this planet, any spacecraft would burn up in a matter of seconds in its atmosphere. With a temperature of 1,700 degrees Celsius, Rox S is colder than the Inferno on WASP-189b. It also has massive gravity due to the planet's considerable mass and no less monstrous radiation caused by its close location to the parent star. This radiation is not absorbed by the atmosphere because Rox S 42BB simply doesn't have it. Thus, we have no grounds to assume that this place can be livable in the usual sense of this word. In 1995, scientists discovered the exoplanet 51 Pegasi b, later renamed Dimidium, derived from the Latin word half, which alludes to the fact that the planet is at least twice lighter than Jupiter. It's much closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun and takes four days to orbit its parent star. At some 1,000 degrees Celsius, its surface temperature is completely unremarkable compared to the other two planets we've considered. There was a time when discovering this planet radically turned scientific ideas about exoplanets upside down. Before that, we believed that such a huge planet can't be so close to its star, but precise calculations and the subsequent discovery of many other hot Jupiters, including those we've already described, made researchers revise some space theories. 51 Pegasus b's radius is 1.27 times greater than that of Jupiter, but at the same time, it's 47% lighter than Jupiter. This is because its superheated atmosphere expands into a thick layer. Interestingly, this exoplanet is 23% larger than the Sun. At the same time, 51 Pegasus b is the closest to us among the three planets in our episode. It's only 50 light years away from Earth. It was probably the planet's proximity that made it possible for us to discover and study it a long time ago when we just started to search for and explore planets outside the solar system. The gases that make up the planet are so hot that the planet glows red, but not so hot that it glows blue like WASP-189b. Like the other two planets we've mentioned, it is tidally locked to its star. 
always being on the same side. Unfortunately, humanity is still too technologically underdeveloped that it can't make physical contact with any of the exoplanets to test its theoretical knowledge about space. All our speculations about life in the universe are based on terrestrial life forms and the conditions that were conducive to the emergence of life on Earth. We consider all other conditions unsuitable for life. However, if we distance ourselves from our imperfect knowledge, we can think of life as something different from what we already know. Perhaps it can exist in places that humans would deem extremely unlivable. Imagination may instantly create terrible monsters, cartoonish demons with frying pans, torturing the souls of sinners. Or maybe an inferno might exist after all, the one we know from ancient scriptures on super hot planets where even iron turns into steam. Having no reliable information, we can fantasize about it any way we want. But one thing remains clear. Other planets exist, and no matter how terrible their conditions may seem to us, humanity will unravel numerous space mysteries in the future. Perhaps new space discoveries would drastically change our lives once and for all. Or maybe someday, another life form will visit us in the future and tell us more than we can learn or understand on our own.